Hey guys, Andrew McFarlane here from StarterJuiceBar.com. Hope you're feeling amazing. And today I want to talk about this whole uh, coronavirus pandemic and really what does this mean for your juice business, uh, whether you're having a business that's already open uh, or you're just about to launch or you're thinking about getting into the juice bar business and you're really, really in the early phases of all this. Um, and really is looking at some positives that are coming from this situation that I feel are really going to um, transpire in the future. Before I get into the content today, if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know who I am and you don't know what we do, uh, I myself and our agency, we've been in this industry for over a decade uh, running our own juice bar businesses as well as helping many people like yourself run, launch, and scale uh, juice bar businesses, smoothie bar businesses, acai bowl concepts, all manner of health-focused food service concepts. So everything we're giving you on this channel is coming from experience and nothing less. So diving into today's content, really I want to first start by addressing those of you who might already have existing juice businesses, brick and mortar and otherwise, and maybe give you some insight as to maybe how you can respond to the situation considering that uh, a lot of brick and mortar stores right now are being asked to get rid of their uh, kind of in-house dining so people can't walk in and order, but they can still do takeout and uh, delivery. So um, definitely you want to double down on your marketing and let people know how your products are going to support their immunity. Um, the next thing you want to do is make sure that all of your customers are aware of what your sanitation procedures are to make sure that they're going to stay healthy. Your delivery drivers wearing masks and gloves and all of that. Let them know your in-house protocols for people if they're starting to show symptoms or sickness, so on and so forth. Another thing that you might consider uh, is that right now, for you as a juice bar business, you have really a significant inventory. You're turning your inventory of nuts and seeds and you know uh, coconut milks and almond milks and produce into juices and smoothies, but you don't have to strictly just sell juices and smoothies. This is a time where you know grocery stores are getting bottlenecked they're packed, they're overwhelmed with people, and you may be able to open your store as a makeshift pop-up grocery store. Now you're gonna to need to check with your local authorities to see if that's something that you're capable of doing, but you have all the inventory that allows you to do that. On another uh, route, you are going to have, because you're connected to other vendors in the supply chain, you're buying toilet paper for your business and gloves for your employees and all these things that other people are going to want to buy now anyway, you can allow your customers to not just purchase juices and smoothies, but maybe you offer a larger spectrum of products that could just strictly be produce and nuts and seeds and gloves and you know just basic necessities that you're using to run your business, but also can help people from having to walk into a grocery store at this point. Trash bags, these are, these are things that people are gonna need right now. And so you can support them um, by getting them those things uh, through your business. Because these are, these are uncharted times and we have to take creative measures not only to stay in business and make sure that you're um, as lucrative as possible during this time, but also so that you could really support and help humanity. So that's the first thing I wanted to address, people who have businesses that have been up and running. Maybe you're someone who is just getting ready to launch. Now, it may not be the best time to launch, um, but the thing is if you do decide to still somewhat move forward, if you've got your brick and mortar space and it's built out, um, maybe you've hired staff, maybe you haven't hired staff, but if you're at this phase, you're going to want to do the same thing I mentioned before without hiring a ton of people that you may not have enough work for just yet. Thankfully, you know, you still are, are very likely going to have some financial liabilities, but you're not going to have as much as someone who might have 12, 15 people on their staff that they have to now figure out what they're going to do. And some of them might be on salary or not. And so, um, just prepare and be aware and use the strategies that I mentioned to ease yourself in if you are going to uh, help people by maybe just strictly starting by doing delivery uh, and or takeout. Takeout might be tough if people haven't been used to visiting your store, so you're going to have to focus on delivery and really use all the marketing methods that you know to use, Instagram, Facebook, um, YouTube, really release the content, tap your network, use your employees as, um, and this kind of goes for people who had larger staff, but use your employees as a mouthpiece, as you know, a megaphone to let people know that you're supporting them in the realms that I mentioned previously. Now, lastly, let's talk about someone who might be in a situation where you have not 
really gotten that far along, but you've been thinking about starting a juice bar business for a while, maybe you've made a little bit of progress, but you're kind of in the really early stages of getting your business off the ground. I think that this is a great time because you have time, right? Usually you're gonna be in most scenarios if you're kind of early stages, four to six months or longer from actually opening your doors. And if you have time and you're not working now or you've been quarantined or whatever it is, this is a great opportunity for you to put attention towards developing the initial phases of your business because to the last thing that I really wanted to mention is I feel really strongly that you know although we're in a challenging time right now, the result of this situation is going to be people really focusing on their health a lot more. We know that this pandemic and all pandemics attack the body in varying ways, but what's underlying all of this is that if you have a strong immune system and you're healthy, that you're gonna have a better chance of survival. Now that everybody's focus is on their health, as a response to this, juice bars, healthy food service businesses, supplement businesses, gyms, are all going to thrive because humanity is going through an awakening right now, right? They call it a come to Jesus moment. It's like we're going through a period of time where now we're seeing that a lot of the, um, you know, health decisions that people have made have not been supportive and did not prepare us for this time. And so um, although there are things that you can't control when it comes to your health, like, you know, you only have so much influence over how you age, but there are a lot of things that you can influence and control, and that is your diet and your exercise and things that people are starting to pay more attention to and have. And I think that this is gonna really, although we're taking sort of a hiatus at this moment uh, from people really being able to dive in, I really feel strongly that the juice industry is going to explode after this. And so this is a great opportunity for you to get ready to ride that wave as people are getting more into realizing the importance of their health and they're gonna take actions towards that once they're done. So this is really, uh, hopefully helping you based on where you guys are in your business and, and giving you guys some strategies and things to think about. Um, there's obviously a lot with the marketing. If you guys haven't taken the online course, there's a whole 20 minute video, I believe it's 15 or 20 minutes around the marketing piece of your business. And so there's a link below to that online course and that will support you in giving you some strategies there because marketing is gonna be critical now since people can't walk into your business. So I hope that helps you guys um, as always, stay safe, stay healthy. I hope you guys are thriving and, and, and okay in this situation right now. This is Andrew McFarlane with StarterJuiceBar.com. If you are not following us on Instagram, you can follow us on Instagram. We're always releasing content there consistently at Starter Juice Bar. Uh, if you guys aren't listening to our podcast, we've got a podcast on Spotify, on iTunes. We also release all the episodes on our website at StarterJuiceBar.com. You can vid vid visit us there. We've got blogs. We've got all kinds of content. And then lastly... Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can put in the comment box below. If you like the video, press the like button uh, and subscribe to the channel. There's a notification bell, so that way you can click that button and you'll get notified anytime we release new videos like the one you just watched right now. So uh, until next time, see you guys. I hope you guys have been enjoying all of the content. If you're in a place where you are really inspired to start your juice business, but you're not exactly sure what the next steps are. For you, we've created a free ebook, The 15 Steps to Starting Your Juice Business from Scratch. This is gonna give you an overview of everything that you need to do from just having a concept all the way to launching your business. Beyond that, if you're inspired to go even deeper, we've created an online course, The Juice Bar Master Blueprint, that is going to go into great detail into every single area of launching a successful juice business. There's links for both of these in the description below. I know you'll find a lot of value out of them. As always, wishing you guys a lot of success and I'll see you at the next video.